Uh, how do you see it repairing its division and moving forward? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. I thought the uh, uh, President Biden's speech was very good, hit all the right notes. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, as you know, in, in Washington, it comes down to policies. And so um, um, it'll be interesting to see how things unfold. Um, again, I, I thought a great tone, but, but policy differences are going to be real, and they're going to be real within the Republican Party itself. So, you know, the, the types of efforts that have been underway, generally speaking, um, under this last administration, uh, coordinated with, uh, the, first of all, been a lot of policy successes, as I've told you about in the past. But we've also, um, we're going to have a debate now uh, as to what our, our country's role is in the world, uh, issues like fiscal spending, uh, trying to trying to balance budgets. Um, there are going to be a, a series of things that will help define the Republican Party. At the end of the day, you know, it's the person who ends up being nominated president over time that really, as we saw over the last four years, um, is is what determines ultimately where the Republican Party. Uh, ends up, but there's certainly going to be a debate between populists within the party and what I would say more traditional conservative Republicans, um, and we're going to see that play out in, in, uh, before our very eyes. You've been in this mix for a long time, and that you're, you're no longer part of the body doesn't mean you're not uh, in touch with it. I, I'd really like to know your sincere thoughts on whether the, the, out, the former president's discussions of a patriot party, the potential thereof, are a real thing, and, and how you believe that the extremes of the Republican Party, uh, as they now exist, could, could be brought together, a place that might be a beginning for Republicans watching some form of, of hope and direction. You know, Shepard, we used to have talks internally about the Republican Party and, and the Democratic Party. I mean, you're going to see fissures uh, take place on the Democratic side of the aisle also. Uh, the parties themselves uh, internally are just so different. And, uh, you know, you've got extremists, extremists on the Democratic side. You've got more moderate folks like President Biden's natural tendencies. Um, and so uh, it, it's it's going to be it's going to be difficult as far as a president and uh, a new party. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of discussions about that kind of thing occurring. There's no question he's going to miss the podium. He's going to miss, you know, having people listen to everything that he says. Uh, that it's going to be a very difficult transition for him. And my guess is he will try to find a place to have a platform to say what's on his mind, to rally folks, to have the adulation that that he's had in the past. So, um, you know, um, I, I think what's, it's very possible we could see fishers that end up uh, creating a different party for years. As you know, people have talked about having an independent party that link together the more moderate centrist individuals on each side of the aisle that that really want to solve our nation's problems uh, and then we've had people on on each side of the road in the right ditch left ditch or let me just say more extremes of of the parties that have, have pulled it in a in a different direction on both sides so um i think we're going through a period of time where it's very possible um you could have a, a different party break out. I hope that uh, both parties uh, will get serious about making our nation stronger. Uh, President Biden's speech indicated that's the direction he wants to go, and I'd like to see that occur. But there will be policy differences. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.